good kitten internet. I uh, thought I'd do a little video of an update. It's 2021 now. It's probably time to do a video anyway. Um, I should move over slightly. There we go. Just sitting on my bed. Um, yes, son, Kini. He's on my list today because he decided to, decided to start urinating in a dirty laundry basket. I love him. But come on, Kenny. Why? You have a perfectly clean litter box right next to it. Anyway. Yes, cat butts. Exactly what people want to watch. So, um, this is just a personal update type of thing. Um, if you're here for the Let's Plays or the Vita stuff, I guess it sort of is kind of like a Vita, but if you're here for the Let's Plays, this isn't a Let's Play. Um... Let's see, what's been going on? Um, so, I'm recording this from my new camera, so please let me know if this looks any different. Uh, this is actually my cell phone. It's a um, Galaxy S20, or Note, or, sorry, Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. I'm using the selfie camera so I can actually see myself. Um, it's supposed to record in 4K, so I think I have it set up correctly. We'll find out. If not, not a big deal. It's just a personal update that I've gone a minute and a half without actually mentioning anything personal. Um, also using a new lighting rig. I have the lights fairly low at the moment. I think this looks okay. I can no longer reach because cat. Uh, I can make it slightly brighter. Yeah, that should be fine. So I don't want it to be too bright because then I start having problems seeing like this. Ah! Although then you can see outside better, strangely enough. Well, not strangely, I know why. See, it's kind of a winter wonderland. It's almost as though, just almost, that it's winter in Wisconsin. There. That should work. Okay. So, um, that pretty much concludes everything good that's happened in the past bit of time. Um, uh, I suppose I'm still COVID-free. I basically haven't left the house at all in seven months. Um, initially, when it came to the pandemic, I had been going on walks, go down to the nearby park. It's not very far. It's less a block from my house. And that was something that was being encouraged, and it still is. The problem is twofold. One, it's winter. Uh, it's not exactly conducive walking weather most times, although this would not normally stop me. But two, my freaking neighbors never wear masks. My gods! Yes, I know you're just out walking the dog. Wear a damn mask. But I stopped being able to dodge them, especially when winter came, and now it's like, okay, well, there's somebody coming toward me. They're on, a, on the sidewalk. They're not wearing a mask. I can try crossing the street, except there's a giant pile of snow, and the next available location that I have to cross the street is past where they're walking, so I might as well just turn around and walk back. And that doesn't work. Why aren't you wearing masks in winter? It's not even uncomfortable. You already have to protect your face to begin with. It's cold outside. I mean, uh, we're at the time of the year where Wisconsin doesn't see the sunnier side of freezing, so I... <sighs> Mask holes confuse me so much. So, yeah, um, the last time I was outside for longer than the amount of time it takes for me to wheel a garbage can out to the curb probably would have been, let's see, it's January five months ago? Four or five, something like that. So I have not been outside since then. Um, as most of you may know, I don't drive, so I don't have a way of getting out and about. While I do have a bicycle, one, the tire's flat, uh, two, once more, Wisconsin winter, not exactly a great time to be cycling, and three, I have the exact same mask problem, only now I have to somehow share the road with drivers in Wisconsin winter where they don't know how to drive on snow. I don't understand how you can live here and not know how to drive on snow. I learned how to drive on snow, for that matter. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. Can you tell that I don't have any outline or script? Um, let's see. So, yeah, I basically haven't left the house, and I don't intend to. Um, the next time I intend to leave the house 
is probably when I get my first of the two COVID vaccine shots. Uh, first dose. I haven't been told anything yet. I'm actually going to be contacting my doctor about that. Cat, why are you walking? Okay, good. You're being gentle. So I'm just not the most graceful of cats, and he was walking right through the power cable for the lighting and the tripod that holds up the light plus phone camera setup thing. Anyway, um, where was I? Right, I don't intend to leave the house outside of, again, like wheeling a garbage can to the curb. I don't intend to leave the house until I'm ready to get my first COVID shot. Um, again, haven't been told anything yet. I'm going to be contacting my doctors this week about where I'm at on the list. Uh, if I go based off of what is publicly available for the state of Wisconsin's website, I am either phase 1B or phase 2, depending on how serious they consider my medical issues that make me more susceptible to having severe side effects to COVID-19. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping to be able to get that somewhat soon, and then three weeks after that get the second shot, and maybe actually be willing to walk outside again. Um, until I am covered by the vaccine plus another couple of weeks, nah, not gonna happen. Uh, unfortunately, as a side effect, that also means that I'm missing doctor's appointments. Um, I'm not willing to go into my clinic for a blood workup right now because there isn't a safe way for me to get there. So, as I mentioned, I don't drive, and the clinic that I'm at is on the outer edge of walking distance. I can technically walk there. I've walked back from the clinic many times, especially when it's beautiful outside, but it's about an hour and 30 to hour and 40 minute walk, and this time of year it'd probably be more like two hours. In Wisconsin winter, not gonna happen. I also don't want to walk there like that because the blood test and blood work that I need to do, I need to be fasting for. The last thing I want to do is wake up in the morning and then go walk for two hours without any food or drink. And that's not even clear liquid. So, nope. So, normally the way I commute in Madison is by bus. That's not safe right now. And some people absolutely have to commute via bus. They're the ones that should be on the bus. People like me, who in theory have other ways of getting around, shouldn't at the moment. That's just the way I view it. Um, I'm not saying that people in my position shouldn't take the bus. I'm saying that I don't feel like I should take the bus. It's a risk that I'm not necessarily willing to take. And speaking of risks that I'm not necessarily willing to take, the cab situation. So this actually affects less me and more my cats, because I can't take them on vet visits. So normally when I take my cats to the vet, I take a service called Green Cab here in Madison. Um, they're the only cab service that actually accept animals in cages on the in the uh, on the trip. Um, so like putting my cats in the kennel, bringing the kennel to the vet, that type of thing. They're not doing a good job when it comes to COVID prevention. Um, not even close. Their cab drivers are subcontractors, and the ones that I have received each time that I've had to bring my cats to the vet for yearly checkup, rabies shot, stuff like that, masks have been under their nose. Um, the plexiglass that they have set up for the cab is not attached, so it's kind of just floating there and not actually blocking anything. Um, most of the time, they're not even wearing the mask at all. Uh, I mean, I should have expected as much, given that most of the time, green cab drivers do not wear a seatbelt, because in the state of Wisconsin, you're not required to wear a seatbelt if you are a cab driver because apparently cab drivers magically don't have other people run into them. <sighs> but they're not exactly the most safety conscious drivers that I've ever been in the vehicle with. And the last time that I went, I ended up with an entire lecture about chloroquine. <sighs> and this was, what, five months ago, six months ago? 
after all of the studies that came out and something, yeah, no, it's no better than a placebo, if not slightly worse. Uh, so, my vet's getting upset at me over the fact that I'm not bringing my cats in, and that's one of the two major cab services in Madison. The other one's not as bad, but the drivers still have the same, they're not very safety cautious issue, in my experience. So, I'm not willing to put myself through that unless I absolutely have to. Like, if there was an emergency I needed to take my cats to the emergency vet, or I needed to go to the emergency room, or anything like that, that's a completely different story. But, no. I don't want to contribute to the problem. Not to mention, there's a very good chance I'm going to have some very severe side effects. It's not worth it. Let's see. Things other than the horrible raging pandemic that's going on throughout the United States and the world. Um... So this past month has been utter hell for me. Uh, you may have noticed that I haven't released any Let's Plays in the past week. I needed to take a break because I wasn't able to record a Let's Play without just bursting into tears. Or having other emotion-based issues, shall we say. Um, this month, this past month, um, the 12th was would have been my mother's 67, 68th birthday. The 13th is the one-year anniversary of my mother's passing. Then there's also Christmas, and that was a complete and utter disaster. Um, my plans for Christmas, um, for reference, I am an atheist, but I do celebrate Christmas. I don't celebrate Christmas in the religious sense. My celebration of Christmas is more, strangely enough, more traditional, uh, more Yule. Um, I celebrate it because it's the end of the year, and I want to give gifts to my friends. That's it. There's no reason to have to have any other... There's no... There's nothing wrong with that. But anyway, um, Christmas was a big deal for my family. And this isn't my first Christmas without my mother. But my mother's passing happened so close to Christmas that I didn't even think about it at the time. This time I thought about it quite a bit. And on top of that, I had plans. My plans were basically I was going to live stream with friends. Um, I was trying to stream XCOM 2 on Twitch with my partner. I was going to have a call with my family, a video call, using a setup very similar to this so I could talk to them about it and say hi and say Merry Christmas and then get very annoyed about the fact that my grandparents aren't wearing masks. <sighs> um, that didn't happen because I've been having internet issues. Charter, who is my ISP, I'm technically their Spectrum now, but whatever, Charter, um, in their infinite wisdom, did not bump up their capacity for Christmas Day when everybody's updating their new, brand new shiny consoles that they got for Christmas. And as a result, I had constant packet loss throughout the day. I couldn't get a video chat or any type of stream running consistently. It would just bomb out constantly. So my primary, secondary, and tertiary plans were all ruined, and I was left by myself. My housemate wasn't even here. Alone. In a dark area with nothing. Oh boy, is that about the worst possible situation for my mental state. Um, speaking of my mental state, uh, it's better than expected, but I did not exactly have the good expectations for it. Um, this month has been really rough. It's part of the reason why many of you have noticed and actually reached out to me and asked about the fact that I'm withdrawing a bunch. It's because the number of usable hours in my day dropped again. Um, and it's temporary. I know that. I had already started recovering last week, or this past week. But it meant that I didn't really have the ability to reach out and talk to people. So this is kind of my way of saying, hey, I'm high. I'm here. Not high. I, I, I don't do drugs. Uh, I'm here. Hi. I'm okay. I'm surviving. Uh, oh, uh, in the good news front, my blood pressure has actually been normalized. And in fact, I've now had my first reading that's below normal for the first time ever. Uh, it may have been an erroneous reading. I haven't had anything repeat since. But uh, my blood pressure is back to the normal range. It's always nice. Uh, it means I'm probably not doing even more damage to my internal organs. Unfortunately, I've gained a significant amount of weight. And given that I have... Uh, body dysmorphia disorder, that's not great. Um, 
turns out that my hunger is tied to loneliness. And as a result, the longer that I am away from people, the more hungry and the more I, uh, the more hungry I get and the more I need. And before somebody asks, yes, I know I can ignore my hunger. That's how I lost weight before. It caused me to basically have an eating disorder. Nuh uh, not happening. And my stomach's already rocky to begin with. Trying to ignore that makes it worse. Not worth the work right now. Um, but I have gotten back into Beat Saber as a form of exercise. I've been doing that about every two to three days at this point. I'm warming myself back in because I've already hurt myself once. And my goal is to have that be a part of my routine when I'm done with work for the day. So when I'm done with work, because I'm working from home, um, I log out of that computer, leave the room, don't really enter the room, I turn out the lights, don't really enter the room outside of throwing things away because that's actually where my recycling bin and kitchen trash can are. Um, the plan is to go down to my basement, play some Beat Saber, then take a shower. Right now I only have the shower part in my routine. It helps because it gives me a clear delineation between work and home, which is what I need. Um, I know a lot of people, especially toward the start of the pandemic, were talking about needing a virtual commute. I don't need that. I just need an activity that I do when I'm done. So my brain goes, oh, I'm done. Sweet. I no longer have to think about work. <sighs> what else? Oh, and you can't see his own kitty. He's just barely off camera. I'm petting him for reference. Um, yeah, pale as a ghost right now. Well, to be fair, this lighting is rather harsh. So that's not too surprising. But uh, it's almost as though I haven't been outside in six plus months. Um, what else is going on? Oh, so video games. I'm most almost complete with Wild Arms 2 at this point. I expect to be done before the end of January. I don't think I even have 10 videos left. Um, after that, I'm going to take a break for a while. I may end up having some random Let's Plays in the middle. I may end up just not. Uh, Wild Arms 2 has definitely burnt me out quite a bit, and I don't know if I want to try to push anything for a while. But my tentative plan is to start up on the anniversary of my father's death, uh, Vandal Hearts. Uh, Vandal Hearts is a strategy RPG released for the PlayStation 1. It was my first PlayStation 1 game. Um, my father bought it along with the PlayStation 1 and a memory card. Nothing else. So it was my only game for outside of demos for a significant period of time. Um, so, you know, it's a relevant title, although I'm not going to be... I'm going to be mixing things up a little bit, but it's me, it's a strategy RPG that tends to happen. Um, and sometime, probably 2022 or 2023, I would start Wild Arms 3. It's gonna be a while. I want to give a longer break this time. I think that's about it. Oh, I've been trying to introduce my cats to each other again. Uh, it's been going well. There haven't been any negative incidents or anything. Uh, Isin is a frequent visitor overnight. Or not overnight, but um, at night when I'm feeding Zone, because Isun actually feels safe-ish around Zone while Zone's eating, because when Zone's eating, Zone is only ever paying attention to food and nothing else, so Isun doesn't feel all of that bad about walking nearby, and I figure that's a good way of starting things. Not to mention I'm pumping the upstairs of my house full of cat pheromones, the um, multi-cat solution of Feel Away. I finally got some in available to me so I can try it. Isun and Zone don't tend to react too much to regular feel away, so I didn't have very high hopes, but it's worth a shot. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's about it. Um, thank you for letting me take about 20 minutes of your time. Uh, yeah. I should get something to drink because I have been lazy today and haven't really left my room outside of feeding cats. So I've yet to drink anything and it's almost noon. Talk to you next time, Internet. Bye!